Spirit, come. May the Holy Spirit hover in our midst, anointing us as we worship. Thank you for choosing this day to come and to be part of the body of Christ together in this faith community. You're showing up, your presence, your prayers, your gifts helped create this community of faith. And we continue to be grateful for the offerings that you give. give. If you would like to offer pledges or monetary gifts, there are ways on the screen. And for those of you who are in person, there is an offering plate on the table in the back by the doors. I now invite Angie to lead us in our prayer of dedication. And as Kathy shared, we will be uttering that ancient phrase, come Holy Spirit. Let us pray together. We offer these gifts to you, O oh God, as we lift our voices in an ancient prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in the consolation of Christ our Lord. Amen. This is not our table. This is God's table and all are invited. Whether you are a member of this church or of any church, you're simply invited to receive the cup and the bread, trusting your life and your faith to God, the God of love, the God of grace, the God of reconciliation, the God of forgiveness. And so when it is time, you're invited to hold out your hands to receive the bread or and then the cup. And after our liturgy, I will give further instructions on how we are going to do that. The liturgy this morning will be a simple song liturgy, and I will invite you to sing back to me the last phrase when I lift up my, my arms. On the night you were betrayed, you took the bread. After giving thanks, you broke it and said, This is my body, broken for you. And as you eat it, Remember me, this is my body, broken for you, and as you eat it, remember me. On the night you were betrayed, you took the cup. After giving thanks, you lifted it up. This is my love poured out for you. And as you drink it, remember me. This is my love poured out for you. And as you drink it, remember me. So we thank you for the cup and for the bread. For we see the life you gave and the life you led. And we remember 
your wondrous love. You gave your spirit to live in us. And we remember your wondrous love. You gave your spirit to live in us. So we thank you, holy God, for these gifts of bread and the fruit of the vine. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us gathered here this day and upon these gifts. May we be strengthened. May we feel your grace and abundant love moving in our lives so that we might have more love and compassion to offer the world. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, I invite us into the prayer of Jesus. And if you are sitting with family and would like to hold their hands, I invite you to do that. Otherwise, I invite you to extend your hands, imagining how connected we are as the body of Christ, as we pray. Our Creator, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. People of God, these are the gifts of God for the people of God. And who are God's people? All are God's people. Behold what you see. Become who you already are. And now for the tricky part. So, this will be the first time that we have received communion in this space since before the pandemic. We have received communion out on the bridge. Um, and today we are going to receive communion in our sanctuary. And for those of you at home, um, invite you to to bring whatever element to the table as, as you join us in communion. It says in your bulletin that you're going to remain seated in your pew. That is so if it is difficult for you to move a few steps out. For those of you who can, if you can simply exit your pew and just stand along the wall making a circle basically around our sanctuary. People in the choir, I trust you to figure it out. <laughs> our music during communion, um, our recorded pieces come to the table of grace and Something about this Holy Spirit, <laughs> Spirit of the Living God. <laughs> um, and so we can hum along, sing along to that. Um, but if you could move to the outer spaces and then the bread will come to you. And we have um, gluten free as well that will start on this side. Um, and then the tray of cups will come to you. What I'd like for us to do, and if you forget, that's okay. I'd like for you to receive the bread and then receive the cup and don't do anything with it yet. We're going to try to receive communion all at once together, taking down our masks for a very brief amount of time to receive. And then the tray will come back around to receive your cups. I am trusting this will work. <laughs> 